What is up, YouTube? It is Sacred Farts, and we're about to play some Life is Strange. I have not yet played this, but I've heard many good things about it, especially about the, uh, the story. And it's made by Square Enix, so, you know, it's gotta be great. So, let's dive on to it. I was straight story based on the game features, players, stories, consoles, blah, 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 choose wisely. Good talk. Music was beautiful. Bring it back. Oh, Yeah, let's walk towards that. Crap. Look at this. Oh. Is that a skull and crossbones? Because that's not good. What is the happenings here? Alright. Well, let's keep living. I think it might be safer inside the lighthouse. Holy shit. Language, child. You look like you're like seven. Maybe thirteen, but we're gonna go with seven. You have a deer on your shirt, so you can't be too old. Whoa. That was so surreal. Film little pieces of time. How did that teacher not notice she was But he could be right talking there. about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. <laughs> you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She I saw don't, humanity as I don't tortured, understand. Right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. What is happening? Seriously, though, can I, not I can frame any one of you in a dark corner Fucking and capture you in a moment of desperation. Cute motherfucker. And any one of you could do that. I swear I will click you. Isn't that too easy? I thought I was going to drive towards the look really so far until I got what the photo. What if Arbus chose to oh. capture people with the height? <laughs> look at this crap. Okay. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Ah, oh, girl, it looks good of to me. Of beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I'm not a big fan of her work. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Well, big. Me too, Victoria. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without. I do beauty. love my analog camera. Why Frank was I should take a quick picture now. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that. I. Sh sh I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max 
has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't Wow. Resist. The point remains that okay. the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. Well, fuck you, bitch. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The God, Daguerrean process I really hope you brought out the fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely oh, popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? It's still too damn hot thanks to global warming and I can't pass it out because it's scary. See, let me borrow the October. I don't know where it feel. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, more. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. What? If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been to one. But who cares because they got into Blackwell Academy. Whoop, whoop. Bonus other text from Bye Bye. Let us speed up. Other sorry. Thanks for playing. That would be an amazing way to reject somebody from like a college or a school, just saying sorry. Thanks for playing. That'd be great. I'd be like, man, that really sucked that I got rejected, but that's kind of an awesome way. So I'm kind of okay. And when I think I was the first, so I the guy screamed, cried, dad left. They're so weird. They're so weird. Really, after everything you just wrote, everything. You just said if words could dance, this would be a rave, and they're the weird ones. They seem a little bit more normal than you, my friend. But anything means a closer to the laptop, blah, blah, blah. What do you believe? Usually people are the closest to them. I suppose I am too. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Study photography. Hold the crap up. Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Like my high school now, I really gotta go. Or boys. Next. She is crazy here. And illiterate. Get your shit together, little girl. I realized how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mmm, I feel you. I feel you. It just comes out of nowhere. Uh, packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. I just traded shifts for to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old wax Max wardrobe. Wow, wardrobe. Ooh, nailed it. Uh, can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange art. Wow. Okay. Unless I get busted. I'm black. Black will sucks ass. But damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I also wanted to start my new official day like a dork. I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. No good with names and face right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. Or is that one person? Hmm. Parents couldn't decide what to name him. Could have fit Victoria Chase, rich, stylish, entitled. I feel like that was that the was that the short-haired bitch from before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll get you later. I hope. Could feel instant judgment when she looked at me in raggedy-ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion presence. I'm being extra crispy, sensitive, but I think once I have to be a reality show. Okay. Have an ass. At least give us noobs a day to... Wow. They use noobs? Alright, respect. 
You know what? That is very bold. Respect. And I didn't have to. Whoa! Hold the crap. She's 18. She's 18. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Well, wait. What is this stuff? Oh. The best way to use also my teacher. So as if uh, still drops can be here, just preparing tough for your own spa. I've forgotten if I've ever seen okay, really sweet, nice, blah, 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 even if the hand was there. She, she's actually quiet, quiet, stupid, blah. Yeah, that is a bitch. That's what I thought. Shoosh, I'm dreaming. And a total bitch. And I hate saying that to you, though. Just don't know why I know somebody who's ever to be funny needs to be fucking mean. 18 year olds of prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars. Calling me on class of taunting Kate Marsh. Poor Kate. And again, she's in the Vortex Club. The heck is a Vortex Club? Okay. My name is Max Ogden. Ever since I don't want to be a photographer, blah blah blah. Like styles and photography, and more photography, and photography, 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 photography. All right, cool. Was that? Oh, was that? Oh, was that? Dad. Hey, Dad, you're an adult now, but you star, little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Oh, Dad. You shouldn't have. But thanks, Pa. All right, how do I get back to it? I want to go back. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, Kate. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. T-T-Y-O. Bam. She texts me back immediately. She was waiting for that one. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. <gasps> Our birthday is two days before mine. What, what? Who are you? Check out... Wahaha. -ha. Hey, Ma hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. I like you. You seem like a good guy. Oh, there's more. Do you want a coffee? I need an excuse not to study. Please make sure. Blah, blah, blah. Wait, I have to study, so if we bust anything, it should be measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. Wait, was there more to Kate then? Oh, there was. Hey, Max, you around? Always. Got it. Makes a little bit more sense. All right. Meek. The time self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about I him. can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Haha. <laughs> and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, haha. -ha. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most. Use. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. 5300. That's a donk for a freaking camera. What up, girl? How you doing? Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Wow, you look stoned as fuck. You said she's quiet all the time. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks what? to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. 
Sure. You said you're gonna get going. Get going, girl. Get. Go on. Get. All right. Printer. It's a printer. Ooh. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Do 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 do. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ooh, well, Mr. Right. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all Sounds you like a need discount, Ryan is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. After all that, didn't even make her... Turn in the thing. Look. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. That's because you words, words like smack. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. <laughs> he probably paid twenty grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Well, then by but that I still logic, still take my little instant camera. By that logic, then her camera she was going to buy, or is buying, or has bought, is not more expensive than his. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Oh. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome always to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Some jams. What up, girl? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. We all know somebody like that. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I feel like this soundtrack is freaking amazing. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Justin! What's up, Justin? That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. That's Dana looking like she about to... Ask for some naughty stuff. Fix your shirt, girl. Get your crap together. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. With shiny smiles and plus two Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex what Club What is this member. Vortex Club? I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Missing person. It looks like she's been gone for months. To a calf of a dragon and a star inside. Oh. Of a dragon. 
and a star on the inside of her left wrist. I thought it was a dragon and a star, because that is fucking badass. I cry sometimes, walking around my own place. Poster, more missing person. Gun-free zone. This is America, there is no gun-free zone. Can we get a pap? I want a pap. They should just call it a sugar machine. Ha ah, ha you are so awesome clever. If you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Kinda weird. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually Spazer? not an ass. Oh, is someone else about to... Yep. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. What is this Vortex Club thing? Beer. They would not let him freaking wear that in the academy. Especially when it's full of not legal people. Oh, I was looking for the men's, but I guess this is empty. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Check the stalls. Is that the one who just said like it was she was missing? Now who would bother to write that crap? Ooh. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I hate Victoria Chase. Kate. Works for God? What? This poster must drive people to have sex. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. That, what? How is that a poster for abstinence? Not even with the graffiti on it. Just him creeping up behind her? Like, surprise, motherfucker. Tampon dispenser. Let's get some good old-fashioned tampons. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> good to flow. Love it. All right, what am I supposed to? Ah, mirror. Have to use that sink. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, you know, so it's Victoria, and hers is a gift of blowjobs. I'm sure. A butterfly. When a door a closes, butterfly. a window opens. <gasps> Illuminati confirmed. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. But what about the Illuminati? Take a picture of the Illuminati. Nope, Illuminati. God, you're the worst. Stupid butterfly ruining everything. Right, because it would not have run away. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come this to three. Is, uh, not dudes, Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing Whoa. around with. Where'd you get that? Shit escalated real quick. Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, 
shit. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. Or I held really? My hand. And then I was back here. Because there was some drug deal stuff going on. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? You go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now, it. Cool. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Still the same. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photo. Do we have to listen to the stupid pun again? And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. <sighs> Damn what it. if that girl isn't dead yet? <laughs> the point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Mom. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp go reflective again, style right? like a mirror. Now you're no. totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the the fact that you're the right answer. Find detail in people's faces, making them exp we'll shift to rewind faster. Woo! Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody Bam. has been reading as well as posing. Nailed it. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean Suck process it, made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the what subjects you clear defined features. Do something. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh, that was still the same. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, That's the marks. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. <laughs> you still have to do your shot. homework. Everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. We'll pull the crap up. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's, it's like. that Rachel Amber so hurt forever. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't oh, even shit. think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Shit. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing <laughs> I'm not avoiding, I'm not sure. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. 
Waiting Max, for you to get that bitch off your dick. Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let, don't me, let stop. me stop you. Who to quickly undo your previous action? So if I hit control. Woo woo. I just really think everyday heroes is an important culture. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse, Excuse us. us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Bam! I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. <laughs> make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. <laughs> Suck it. Suck it. Yeah. Alright, anyway. Let's go. Let's slowly walk to save this girl. I hope I have it's probably end this episode here soon. Oh well. Please, go. please. Hold I shift. can't tell anybody. They'll think go, I'm crazy. Go, whore. Go, go, bully. Go, go. Other whore. You know I don't Bathroom. How you do it. Okay, Max, retrace every step. The butterfly. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. Well, I don't think there's photo, photo, really. But it mattered. It's, but okay. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening. I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Shit. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Nobody would ever... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Oh, would I already you, had it. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Uh oh. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Illuminati! I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Well, I mean, there's a fire alarm. Do you Maybe hear that you should fire alarm? Be. That means you should be outside. Exactly. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency. What is here. up with your face? Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah, porn stash. Get the crap out of here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh, 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 yeah, let's just go ahead and report the dude. He'll probably go after me later, but I will. Prescott waving a gun around in the girl's room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. 
It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And one of Blackwell's most honored students. So oh, shoot. I picked him the wrong thing. So a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... Serious charge. Uh oh. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I think I That's picked it? the wrong thing. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. No, I can't rewind. Please go outside with the rest Damn of Damn it! Miss Caulfield. Of course, this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. All right, go back. Should I rewind and change my story? Yes. All right, you let's try this again. Out. I... Skip all that. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen dude again. You know, I, teen I, dude! I don't, don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Well, shoot. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him- I don't know what to do! I don't know. <sighs> oh well. Well, I'm gonna have to end this video here. Uh, check back uh, later and I will have the next one up. Alright? Stay classy, everybody.